All right, guys, welcome to another video. Today we'll be turning my dumb TV into a smart TV. Let's get to it. All right, so this is gonna be like a little vlog slash review. And I'm just gonna be, this is an old plasma TV, a Panasonic one. Um, obviously it doesn't have all the apps and everything I do have my Xbox connected to it but what I want to do is I want to do that from the Xbox and add the Amazon Fire Stick light so it'll be a lot easier to use and um, be a lot quicker as well all right so this is Amazon light and I'm gonna unbox it and let's have a look at it all right so everything comes here very nicely packed it's a very good package. Uh, I like how Amazon does their packaging. It's pretty cool. Um, all right. So inside we have uh, a beautiful looking remote control. Next we have our, our little extension adapter for the HDMI cable. Because um, this is the Amazon... Amazon a light stick and as you can see it's like a chocolate bar shaped and it's a little bit chunky you can plug it into this little adapter and this cable is the charging cable luckily our Amazon stick fire stick comes with a charging brick all right so as soon as you plug it in everything switches on and you're greeted with the main screen just the fire TV screen I'm gonna press the play button and I'm gonna set this up so it actually tells you which button to press and it's the play button also I just wanted to point out that the box comes with a little booklet as well instructional booklet so if you want to read that comes with the diagrams and everything so yeah all right so we'll go to English Australia um, and I pressed OK now it's gonna look for the network all right, so I've just added my Wi-Fi password and now it's connecting to the internet. Um, apologies regarding the flicker. It's a really old TV, so refresh rate, yeah, you can forget about a good refresh rate on it. It's downloading the latest software version. And, and the cool thing about Amazon Fire TV is that you get heaps of other apps as well. Uh, you get Disney app, um, you also get the Apple TV app, and of course you get your YouTube stuff, which is great. And in Australia, you can actually get some on-demand TV channels as well. I quite like the remote control. It feels really comfortable in the palm of your hand. It's very lightweight, um, and it's shaped to fit perfectly in your palm. To set Fire TV Stick, we'll restart in a few seconds. Fire Stick is powering off and now it's installing the latest software which it just downloaded so guys this thing literally took just about 10 minutes to go through two updates and finally we are here and I'm gonna sign in with my Amazon account all right here it's just letting me choose all the apps that I want yeah I will choose that definitely this let's pick these ones as well because they will come in handy uh, what else we've got? I don't have that. I don't have any of these and neither of these. All right, 10, on demand, Apple TV, yes please, Disney Plus. Yes, don't have that, but I want that app to be included for future use. I love what Amazon has done. Um, obviously with the marketplace and then also uh, Echo Dots and stuff like that and in the Fire TV too so love Amazon giving me a little tour let's turn on the volume no way <laughs> scroll up from the main menu to explore featured movies TV shows and more now you can create up to six profiles for a personalized viewing experience. Selecting your profile gives you access to your customized apps, watch list, preferences and settings. 
Find is your new destination to easily explore. And now I'm on the main home menu and from here I'm able to actually watch any of my Amazon Prime videos or the TV shows um, and open other additional apps so yeah that's pretty cool and I can even sign into my Apple TV Plus and because today is an overcast day and it's a bit yucky outside I think I'm gonna stay indoors get myself cozy and watch some Amazon TV and this is what the outside looks like yeah dark gray overcast rainy weather it's also a bit windy and cold so yeah so thanks guys for watching this little vlog slash review and if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment and subscribe I mostly post videos related to heavy metal music, hard rock music and also do a lot of tech review as well and I like to do some vlogging too so and this is a combination of both so like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care.